Uh, on your bill, Representative Villio. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Good afternoon, members. Um, House Bill 265 is what I refer to as enhanced victim notification. I was originally requested to bring it by the pardon and paroles, Ms. Francis Abbott. Um, and essentially, this bill allows for an additional form of communication to victims, registered victims, or their spouse of next or next of kin of a deceased victim um, to receive email notifications in case of a probation hearing, in case of an early release of an offender, or in case of a, a pardon or parole. Currently, it provides the the, the law provides for um, notification by snail, snail mail um, and phone, uh, other forms of communication, but does not provide for email communication if a victim opts in to be informed by email. So that is essentially what the bill does. Certainly happy to answer any questions. And Mr. Abbott's here to assist. Representative us. Marcel. Uh, this is getting a little scary. I I'm going to move favorably on your bill to uh, Representative Villia uh, thank at the you. proper time. Thank you, Representative Marcel. I know uh, that it's snail mail, and we're not getting any certified mail ever since COVID. Sure. So I think any opportunity we have to notify uh, people, we need to utilize that. We're going into a new era. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so for the much. Bill. And uh, not, Mr. Not, not Chair. Su not surprising, Representative Marino. But I, we, you want to take your amendments up? I, I, I we do, do have forget. two sets, I do of, have amendments two sets of amendments to take up. I do have two sets of amendments I'd offer. If you'll Okay. All right, Zach. Thank you, sir. Members, this is amendment. The first set of amendments is set 1125, available and made online. Uh, it's got six amendments. Um, amendment number three provides that the clerk of court shall provide a reasonable notice to the victim when a probation hearing has been set. And amendment number four provides that the Department of Public Safety and Corrections shall notify certain persons no later than 60 days prior to the release of an inmate who has been convicted of a crime of violence or a sex offense. That's the first amendment sent, sir. Have a motion. I have a question. We have a question on the amendments. Do you want to take up? Okay, Representative Marino moves to adopt the amendments. Any opposition? No opposition. Uh, that amendment set is adopted. Mr. Gonzalez on the next set. Thank you, sir. So this is amendment set number 1334, and it's a set of eight. And what it does is it touches on how the victim receives the communication. I want to speak to your amendment, Representative? Uh, the, the amendment simply, there was a discussion um, relative to initially when I had proposed the bill, there was discussion of, of language as to um, having confirmation of delivery, having uh, read emails, et cetera, and the way the victim notification system works through Vine. Um, those, those words technically aren't consistent with how the Vine uh, program works. And, and so that's why we brought those uh, amendments just out of an abundance of caution, if Mr. Abbott has anything additional to add. Representative Villio moves favorable on that set of amendments. Any objection to the adoption of the amendment? I uh, see no ob objection. The amendments are adopted. We're back on the bill. And we have a question by Representative Marino. I, I, I did have a question, but you just fixed it with an amendment. So you we have a question by Representative Representative Marino. I know you really don't want me to talk to Representative Filio, but <laughs> no, you fixed it. You fixed it. So that we just to clarify, we removed the electronic confirmation part because they don't. They're not set up for that. Is that? They're not. The bond notification, as I understand, is not set up for the the typical read as, received read re yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. they are able to determine whether or not an email has is undeliverable um but it's just not quite consistent with that language that we normally use for the delivery and receipt is that correct mr abbott yes ma'am francis abbott executive director of the louisiana board of pardons and committee on parole uh 
so yes, the, the system cannot provide the read receipt, but it will maintain documentation that uh, the notice has been sent. I'd like to move to report this bill favorably, probably against my better judgment. Okay, we, we uh, the, the motion, I think uh, we had a motion to move favor, but the proper motion is to report as amended. So I'll take that as mm -hmm. Representative Marcel beat you to the punch early. Representative Marcel, report as amended, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, and I do. Thank you. It's a new day. Okay, and we have a question by Representative Muscarella. It's just a statement. Uh, Mr. Abbott, can you do a little better on saving the state? For the, for the vine, it seems a little steep. I mean, you know, that's a lot of cheese for the state to be spending 50 uh, grand to maintain what I think is probably about 500 a year. Well, I, I, as far as notifications go, there's uh, well over 5,000 notification letters that are sent out by uh, not only us, the Pardon and Parole Board, but the Department of Public Safety and Corrections. Um, and all that's done by certified mail. So there will be a cost savings well, in the certified mail. Well, you're speaking my language. I love it. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, a motion to report as amended. We have. Uh, Present to give information if necessary, Francis App. I'm sorry. Uh, we have Brandy, Melissa, uh, present to speak in favor. Uh, Katie Hunter Lowry, uh, present to give testimony uh, on this bill, and a whole bunch of other green cards uh, that we will go through shortly. Uh, Brandy, do you wish to speak? Yes, sir. On the bill? Okay, go ahead. Please introduce yourself. For y'all that don't know me, I'm Brandy. I'm up here quite a lot normally. I support HB 265 because of as, as of right now, victim notifications about anything regarding offenders comes through the United States Postal Service. And if you're a victim was a minor, you have to sign for it. Um, whether that be about parole hearings, about inmates being moved from to Rayburn from Angola as a few child sex abusers have been in the last few years or anything else that crime victims are supposed to be notified about. In De December of 2018, the LC sent my deceased mom a notice about a parole hearing in March of 2019 for a child sex abuser who violated at least seven known boys in Louisiana alone though he was only convicted of five so far he was charged with 49 counts only pled to five and in my humble opinion should never breathe outside of a penal institution again being that he was eligible for a quote-unquote good behavior time at conviction a unanimous denial of parole in march of 2019 had no impact on his early release date approaching on april 6. no one on his crime victim notification list has received a notice yet about it and that is un unacceptable the only way that i know is because i called rayburn last month and found that out myself Provisions to this bill would open other avenues of notification and not leave it to just utilizing the snail speed postal service. If this bill were currently law, everyone would know about what happens April 6th, being that we could have been notified as soon as, if not shortly after, the child molester being released early due to good behavior time got a residence plan approved on January 31st. We instead have to wait on the procrastinating officials tasked with mailing notices out to do so, and some notices have to be sent to other states. So victims may not find out, may find out at the last minute or after the fact about Rayburn's transplant from Angola, who DS, DOC has called a model inmate being released when we were told otherwise. This is completely unacceptable and the offender is not the only with victims that are enduring the nightmare that is DOC's current victim notification system. Please on behalf of current and future crime victims and their loved ones in Louisiana pass HB 265. Thank you. Thank you. We have no questions. Uh, we have uh, cards and support from Thomas Costanza. 
uh, Mr. Yancey, Lauren Lambert, Mike Renatza, Mike Cahoon, Cahoon Rachel, um, help me out, Gar Sorry. Cassard, Gary Bennett, uh, Zoe Pierre, Ryer, Claire Fitzpatrick, Natalie Sharp, Rebecca Brama. something uh samantha sarah wilkinson scott payton um Ms. marissa bosley susan nelson bob wirtz here to provide information only and marcia minu to provide information we have a motion Representative Marcel had a motion to report the bill as amended. Do we have any objection? Seeing no objection, the bill will be reported as amended. Thank you, members. 